After I finished at Gettysburg, I ended up applying to a few different Masters of Music programs in voice performance, and I'm currently studying at Bard College. In order to pursue music, I think you have to have kind of a mathematical brain and a creative brain and a writing brain. You have to kind of think in all of these interdisciplinary ways, and that's built into music. With music, the creative part of myself and the analytical part of myself were both being fulfilled. And that was a really great, balanced feeling. Well, she's marvelous because she is intellectually very curious. You know, the mind has to be flexible and the muscles have to be flexible. And she is both. Her voice was healthy, and we just needed to continue from where she began. So she had very good, very good basic training, and we're just going on beyond that. I think that developing a deep sense of gratitude for the opportunity, not only to go to school, but to go someplace like Gettysburg, where you have the space and the support to figure out who you are, not just as, a, as an English major or as a music major or as a future doctor. You can really figure out what makes you you and being at a place that allows you to figure this out is really, really special. The first time I sang for Dawn in my audition, the first words out of my mouth were, I heard you on my iPod this morning. <laughs> I think it's less about bravery and more about letting go and just giving it a shot because you're not gonna know until you try. And I think in trying, you'll realize whether you care about it or not. You know, I wouldn't have decided to pursue music unless I had attempted a music major. I think that it took signing up, doing the music major, for me to figure out that that's what I wanted to do.